Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? We are going to Animal Kingdom. What did you just eat? Troika. It's from Sweet. And it did not look good the way you bit into it. <laughs> what is it? This is Sarah. Sarah, this is one of my birthday gifts, and Sarah said it's supposed to be all chocolate. And right on the front, you can tell there's like a jam. It's like chocolate gelatin. It tastes kind of like a, a fruit roll up in a chocolate bar. It does not sound appetizing, but I'll, I'll give it a whirl. It's gelatin. Wait a minute. Are we going to Animal Kingdom right at open, or are we trying to go to Magic Kingdom on New Year's Eve? Look at this. We got cars all the way back there, all the way up here. The sun's peeking through right there. Is there something going on that we don't know? I think it's just Sunday and it's park open and maybe people trying to go Pandora. Beautiful day. It is 64 degrees out. Look how efficiently I'm driving. And park opened 11 minutes ago, but we got fast passes for Festival of the Lion King. Yeah. It's the, pro the show is probably at 10. Yeah, it's a 10 o'clock show. So, we'll make it. We're just going to go straight into it. We're in. Almost. Almost. We have to. What time? Oh. What time is it? 9.45. Oh, we got 15 minutes till showtime. <laughs> oh, bother. Oh, bother. This is a, uh, now we're in. This feels like a vacation day. We got up early to go to the park, and now we're like practically running to our first fast pass slash show of the day. Fast pass? Oh. But I realized I don't think I can bring my coffee in, and I have not even taken one sip of it. We gotta figure our lives out. Stay tuned. We made it and just walked in to learn the hand jive. Yeah, and they cut us off on the fast pass. We oh, still made it. So we should cancel our fast pass and see if anything pops up. And I got my coffee in. So don't worry about any of you coffee drinkers. We have been expecting you. We are here today to welcome you one and all to the festival of the Lion King. Welcome to our world. And now if you could both put your fingers by your face to do your touch. <laughs> All right, and now make a snorty warthog sound. <laughs> that was pretty good. Not bad at all. And pause up like this. Pause up. Let's hear your roar. Wow. <laughs> Get that arm up. Let's see that trunk now. Let's hear the call. <laughs> yes. An elephant we will never forget. Turn around one more time. Everyone arms up. On the count of three, let's chop it triumphant. One, two, three. This is Maria Jose from Mexico, and she's going to show us what sound a giraffe makes. Okay, go. You don't know it. Well, I didn't either, so I looked it up, and it said that giraffes make a low bleating sound.
that wasn't. This whole morning was like, felt like a vacation morning. Got up earlier, get to the park, rush into our fast pass. Can't even use our fast pass because it's so close to showtime. Get in there, do a festival of the Lion King, which we don't usually do. Because they're usually over by the time we get here during the week. It's just interesting, it feels like a vacation. I got coffee, Joffrey's. It just feels great. Great, great, great. Well, look where we are. This is for sure a vacation day. We have yet to do this in the here. You will get wet. You may get soaked. We got a fast pass. Just to be careful, even though like, they've got a center console to keep your stuff, but usually there's a little bit of water in there. We're doing a cool feature that this backpack we've never used before. Look at this! A little poncho! A little and poncho. now they're actually selling ponchos right there because this ride is potentially a doozy. I'm nervous. I've never used this. Hold on. Let me gracefully... Here, how about, we, we won't show your struggle, Peter. In three, two, one. Look at that, look how fancy that is. It's all <laughs> semi-weatherproof. So we're gonna throw this like this in the, in the little pouch. Just in case. Just to be safe. Well. That was a lot of fun. We didn't get soaked. We did get wet. Up there, I got one whole side a little soaked. But I, in the frantic messing around of keeping, we decided to keep the G7X out during the, the ride. And I freaked out and forgot to hit record during the big drop. But so it was on us and it was it, so cool. It was on us and super cool. So super sorry, but uh, yeah, we missed out on that footage. But it's okay. Run the search for Jay. For the, the for the new cup new the two new cubs that just got brought out into the, like where guests can see them like what like a month or two ago not even days really days I thought it was weeks I thought it was maybe two or three weeks ago. So Sarah asked a lot of good questions, and she got a lot of good answers. Yeah. I was wrong. They've only been in the public eye for four days. They've been that in that area for six. Yes. So the two pups, they were super adorable. We tried. I think Boy we're gonna girl. we'll put the footage in, but sorry, it was so bad because we had to do. They were super far away, and so we got to the digital zoom on the camera, which always isn't as crisp. And their names are Anala, which means fire. Because she's the little, the little girl's a little spitfire. Yeah. Always bossing around and antagonizing her brother. Yeah. And then was it Jetta? Jetta, which means paw. Because he has a paw like imprint on his face. Sarah really wanted to see, wanted to make a new friend today. But I don't know if he's out. Is he out? See you? He, this is unreal. He looks. He looks fake. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, just going for a little swim. He literally just dragged himself. He didn't even get up. That's what Eve does. Part one of our four part day is now over. Now we're off to. Well, for the first time ever, we are at the Orlando Premium Outlets. We're going to Character Warehouse because we've never been and we need to do some Christmas shopping. Forgetting that it's beautiful, it's the weekend, and it's the weekend before Christmas. So, it's absolutely nuts here. We had to park like like uh, half to three quarters of a mile away from the actual outlets. Oh yeah, here we are. Disney tickets sold here. Disney's character warehouse. Let's get ready. It's not as big as I thought. But let's get shopping. How about it? Look at this. New in stock. Food and wine. Figment glove. $5.99. Tear out paper sheets, water bottle. I think I need a water bottle for work. This is gonna end up being a shopping street for me and you, and not Christmas. <laughs> oh my god, I just found the best thing ever. Look at this like rain jacket, it's perfect for us. A little bit of lining, perfect for winter. $45, guys. $45. I want one. Oh, oh this is too much. This is all too much for me. This right here is another good find. This is 10 bucks. I might have to walk away with this hat. 
There's some really good ones. They have a lot of cruise line stuff and Halloween stuff. So we'll definitely have to come here like in January, February, probably closer to February, when they have all of the Christmas stuff here. Just try not to buy every single thing here. This is extremely overwhelming. I think I can feel my blood pressure rising. This is what we're at. We have one more item to add. We made it out alive. Oh. And look at this fancy hat I got. <laughs> Sarah convinced me to get it. It was all her doing. But we just did so much shopping, got so many presents. We're all very, very Basically close to being done. done. And we started yesterday. today or yesterday. <laughs> so we did some different shopping. If you're ever in the area, this place is crazy. I think there's another one too. Closer close to, to Disney? Yeah. Smaller though. This one's yes. bigger. This is the Orlando this Premium one's Outlets. At the Orlando Premium Outlets. But the entire place was super busy. I'm sure it's because it's the weekend before Christmas, but I hear that it's usually busy, but it's very good. They got really good stores. It's awesome. If you're ever looking for shopping when you're in the area, check it out. This, this is both the beginning and the end <laughs> of Busy Mambo, Sunday. Mambo Hishima. <laughs> Sorry. This is the beginning and the end of Wait. Busy Sunday's part, <laughs> part three. It's now over. We're going to part four, which is back to the parks. Very reminds me of part five. Busy Sunday day part, part four. Back in the parks. Second time here today. At studios? No, we're here at past midnight. Oh, a little sneak. You're right. Jingle ball jingle jams going on. So this is like Busy Sunday section 4.B. 4. 4.B. 4. 4.2. Because we are in Epcot now. We were in Hollywood Studios. And we're gonna, this probably is our last time in Epcot, guys, before we This is go sad. Home. It's all the ends. The last of, yeah. of Holiday Studios, last of Holiday yeah. Epcot. So we're gonna try and get I don't think you need the fork. I think you're just gonna other. bite it. So this is the salmon. Seared smoked salmon on a dill brioche salmon bun. Salmon is in the Mediterranean diet. The bread is not good. It's okay. Can't have everything. What do you think? It's mostly cream cheese. So it's real healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta get in there. It's good. Eat your, half, eat your half first and then I'll take over. There's Trace Atkins leaving with his daughter. He was the Candlelight Processional nar narrator tonight. So we saw him years ago at Country Thunder in Twin Lakes, Wisconsin. And funny enough, I ran into him there walking around with his daughter like he just was. But it's, it's funny because he has no credentials on, but his daughter always has like an all access VIP. And it's completely obvious. I just said, You did a great job at Country Center years ago. And he looked over, like, Oh, thank you. And it was like super deep, deep Trace Atkins voice. Two. Session 4.2, this girl is drained. It is almost midnight. And our busy Sunday has come to an end. A wonderful and sad end, because yeah. our lovely new friends are going home tomorrow and we won't be able to see them before they leave, so yeah. we had to say goodbye to Ben and Carolyn and their wonderful kids. So thank we you so much again for letting us crash. We can't wait for that. Almost half your vacation, so. <laughs> Thank you again, you guys are amazing, you guys are the best. Can't wait till you come down again. And they gave us a surprise gift, which they did not have to, and we will get you back somehow. We'll figure out a way. But they gave us a little road trip gift that we're gonna open up a few days early. Look at this. Illumination. The Illuminations and Tapestry of Dreams. Soundtrack. Soundtrack. We're gonna listen to it right now, even though we just watched Illuminations. We just watched Sorry it. we didn't have a lot of footage tonight, but you know what? We just had a soak in that time with them. Uh, 
Oh, so good. Yeah. But with that, we need to get home, and I need to drive safe, and the, the car's all fogged up because it's getting, it's like 65 degrees out. Mm -hmm. So with that, thank you so much for following along with our adventures as always. We had a wonderful weekend, Wonderful, right? busy weekend. Thank you for following along. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because we've and got... And tell your friends. We've got more adventures coming tomorrow. we got SeaWorld. When you're watching this, yes. we'll be probably in SeaWorld right now, mm -hmm. right at that moment. Thank you, Jill and James. And then we got some wrapping up of the holidays in Disney World because we're going to Chicago this week. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>